Welcome to a tour of True Embroidery. True Embroidery is embroidery software for use on a Mac computer. It is made up of three main applications, True Studio, True Modify, and True Create. Together, they make a complete system that allows you to personalize, modify, or create your own embroidery designs, perfect for any project. Let's have a quick tour. We will start by visiting True Studio. True Studio is where you can personalize the designs that you already own or that come with our embroidery software. There are different ways to load designs. You can go up to Insert if you know what it's called and where you placed it. Not really my forte. I, of course, like to see the designs before I load them. And as you can see here, I am looking at an existing design collection. This one happens to be Funky Fish by Inspira. And I will just quickly load two embroidery files before closing. And here they are. You can, of course, move them around your screen, fl flip them both directions, rotate them, have a lot of fun. But you may want to do a bit more, like create your own designs. We do have built-in assistants and we will come back to this. You can personalize your hoop by either entering a hoop size or using a wide variety of our built-in hoops, all listed here for a wide variety of embroidery machines. Yours is probably included. I'm going to start by bringing in a background. Now, you can take a photograph of either a quilt block or a jacket or a blouse or any other garment or object you may have that you can embroider, of course, and bring it in so that you can build a design to suit. I'm going to go after some of our built-in backgrounds, and there are over 1,700 of them, and look for one of our tote bags. Now, the tote bag that I am loading is simply a backdrop, and I'm going to build the embroidery to fit that backdrop. Now, zooming on a Mac, as you know, is very easy using gestures. My bag in the background is not exactly where I want it to build the design, so we do have a move background option. So maybe you want to build closer to the bottom or closer to the top. I think right about there is where I, I have this project in mind. And of course, you can zoom back close. But we may want to create our own design to bring in here and use in combination with the existing design files. So we're going to take a quick tour of True Create. True Create is where you can start from scratch and make your own designs. Here we will start with the Quick Create Assistant. Now I'm going to qu Quick Create into a smaller hoop, and we're going to look for an artwork file. Now artwork files are included. There are over 300 uh, design or clip art files, PDFs, uh, other Im artwork files included. And I am going to look for not stitches, but pictures. And some of the pictures that we have included might fit our beach scene that I have in mind. So I'm going to open this artwork file and continue. Now, any, at any point, you can always go back. We don't need to rotate. Well, of course, we could. And I might choose to make this just a little bit smaller. And it will proportionally figure out the number. Now, it is recommending 10 colors. I guess there's a bit of shading in here that I can't see. Or, of course, you can override and place the colors that you want on the design by using the eyedropper. Quick and easy, nice and fun. There are a wide variety of built-in threads, over 1,600 of them. Didn't want to really have to count that personally. But anything that you dream up is probably in here from one of the major thread suppliers. So I'm going to go after our Robus Nanton Rayon 40, and it will pick all of those shades for me. And then we will continue with some slight adjustments 
and see how the design looks based on a quick create method. Great size, good stitch out, click done, and away we go. Now, if you are a digitizer and want true functionality and true capabilities for designing, you will see that there are a wide variety of tools here that allow you to extra enhance the ready-made designs or the quick create designs, or you can go in here and tweak them. By using some of the properties, you can quickly change fill patterns from one to another, change the angle, and that will affect everything. Or you can come in here, grab an individual one, and just change it, which is nice and fun. If you know a favorite pattern that you happen to have, you can find it easily by typing it in. And of course, start personalizing your artwork files into embroideries. Now, I do happen to have my final stitch out here ready to go. And when you want to save or export as an embroidery file, there are options. There are a wide variety of different machine formats available in True Embroidery. So chances are you will be able to save in a format that you can use. I'm going to jump back over here to True Studio, and we will open up that design that I had just previously saved. Now, I know that I had placed it in my folder, so we're going to come back here and look for my designs. And here is my final wave. And we'll place it in the center. I'll quickly get it right in the center. And I might want a little bit of text around this. There are over 100 fonts, fully adjustable, professionally created fonts in our software, in True Embroidery. And I'm going to go after one from Retro. And I do happen to like San Fran. And we're going to call this Summer Fun. And of course, there is a spell check, but it does help when you can spell the word correctly. With a full circle line type, and voila, quick and easy, down and dirty, away you go. You can make additional adjustments if you'd like, but you don't have to, which is really great. From here, I think I need some vegetation. So in True Modify is where we can pull apart existing designs and use parts of them. So again, if you happen to know what you called it and where you placed it, you can go to Insert, or you can, of course, use the File Viewer if you know what the design looks like. So we will insert this file. And using some of the tools here, we will quickly select it, rotate it so it's a little easier to work with. And then we can start pulling it apart. From here, after viewing color by color, I know that I want to go after the seaweed. So I've isolated the seaweed. And you can use your selection tool to get in here and grab just the seaweed. I'm going to take a copy of that, jump over to True Studio, and paste it in. There we go. So that is the original piece of seaweed. And we'll just place it over here, nice and easy. But what if you want to make that seaweed look a little different each time? Well, over here in True Modify, there are morphine options. There is a wide variety of tools. And the morphine options allow you to, well, I'm going to paste it there on the screen. And then we can morph this design and make it a little more interesting back and forth, a little bit of playing with the different options, different stretch capabilities in global morphing. And when you create something that you like the look of, click OK. And of course, you can capture it, 
copy it and go back over to True Studio and paste it and create a very interesting design. One more time to modify. And I have multiple windows open, all different seaweeds, just because I like to play with the morphing feature and find one that, that works for what I want to do. Here is one that I stretched earlier. Now, I would like you to see some of the interesting tools available on the Modify tab. One of them is called embossing. And the embossing allows you to add extra detail in areas of the design that you may want to add extra detail to. And then, of course, once you're finished, you can select it, copy it, and go back to True Studio and paste it in. Very easy to get around. So I hope that you have enjoyed the first tour of True Studio. The only other thing to do here is to save your embroidery design. And of course, save it on a USB stick and walk it to your embroidery machine to sew it out. Have fun.